If you have reached this part of the course, then it means Unity has already been installed. So what we have to do is to create a new project to try Scene Machines features. First of all, I'm going to hit the New button. Then I'm going to change the project to Boulder. Let's start with the 3D template as we're making a three-dimensional game. It's not going to be two-dimensional. Uh, the location of the project is going to be a projects folder inside my home folder. It doesn't matter if you are on a Mac or in a Windows computer. It's important for you to make a projects folder and put all your projects there just to make sure things are properly organized. You're going to leave Unity Analytics disabled, so we set that to off, and after that we're just going to hit Create Project. So after a few seconds, Unity is going to load and we should be able to uh, start working on learning C Machine. We are, however, going to talk about an initial setup process, because if you just start a new project in Unity, there are no assets there, so there's nothing uh, slightly beautiful that you can do right out of the box. What we can do is to get some assets provided by Unity, which are free to use, okay, there's no uh, third-party restrictions in that situation, use these assets and learn a lot of what there is in Unity without having to, you know, download many things from the internet. You can, of course, get your own assets later, like your own files, your own um, maybe effects, maybe a sun effect, maybe some water. There's a lot that you can do. But right now, we're just going to start using Unity's default stuff. First of all, let's make sure we start with the, the same layout um, from my side and your side. I'm going to click here on Layout and choose Default. So we are reset to this mode here where we have the scene, the game window, and the asset store. I'm going to select the game window and move it to the right and then uh, align them like this just so it's easier for us to see uh, the simulation that I'm, I'm going to do and the scene that we have here. And we also want to make sure that we select window, then sequencing, and finally timeline. We are talking about scene machine here, so timeline is a special ally for you, okay, into making uh, what we want to achieve here. It's important to work with this feature that has kind of been introduced really recently in Unity, less than two years ago. Okay? In the project folder, we just have the scenes window, which is fine. And in the packages, there are some packages that were already provided by Unity. Okay, package manager, text mesh pro. But since we are talking about Scene Machine, we want that package to be included here. To do this, we need to find where that package is. So we go to the window, select Package Manager, which is going to open here, which is going to show the, the packages that you have installed. Unity is going to show a list of other packages that you can get from them, and you notice that one of the options is Scene Machine. Okay. And that, as it says here, it's smart camera tools for passionate creators. You can do great effects in your game or in an animation that you want to make. It's important for you to understand that this works for both animations and for games. It just makes everything look much more uh, beautiful. It just looks gorgeous to use these camera effects. So once we have Sin Machine selected here, I'm going to hit the install button. In case you don't have it already, you're going to download it. So we just hit install, it's going to uh, extract all the assets, it's going to import them here to uh, Unity, to this uh, package folder. And once you are installed and up to date, notice that I'm on version 2.2.8, you're going to see here that Scene Machine has been installed. Right now there is no need for you to worry about what these files are, because kind of one of the, the things Scene Machine wants you to do is not to code at all. We can do a lot of things by just using the Unity Editor, the, the inspector, we can change some properties, some components, some uh, assignments and references to game objects, and just do everything in a really quick and easy way. You notice that I'm not going to uh, talk a lot about concepts in this, uh, in this course, not in the sense I, I want to explain things to you, but I want to show them to you as quickly as possible. We're going to change properties, we're going to see their effect here in Unity and learn in this process. So we have Scene Machine here, 
but we don't have anything to add to the scene right now. Okay, it's completely empty. What we want to do is to import the default asset package that we have in Unity. This was already here in Unity's previous versions in, in import package, okay? But right now it's not in Unity's version. So you have to manually download that from the asset store. So it's important for you to open the asset store here. Okay, so I'm just going to open this window. And we want to download the standard assets package from Unity. So I'm going to put standard assets and search for it. You're going to see that one of those is provided by Unity Technologies, which is the one you're looking for. We're going to open that and it's a free package. And if you don't have it downloaded, you're going to download it. Or in my case, since I already have it in my uh, computer, in my cache, I can just click import and add all the assets here. So all of these assets, okay, the, the sample scenes and standard assets folders that we have contain lots of different props that we can use. You can see a few images here, a few characters and spheres. So there is quite a lot that you can uh, play with with these standard assets. We're just going to import and use them. This package might take a while to import, like a minute or two, but once it is complete, we can uh, already work with what we have here. So with these two things installed here, we're going to head over to the next lesson, where we're going to start building and looking at a very simple scene.